Hey everybody, uh, what were we doing last stream? This is a great fucking question. <laughs> I hope you're doing uh, very well today. Um, let's take, oh no, just kidding, that's not, that's how we change point of view. Okay, well I don't need to change point of view, I just want to look at my progress and shit. Ah, that's right, I was... Wait, didn't I go to meet with Dutch already? Didn't that happen? And then Dutch has the sheriff all drunk and the sheriff asks us to do something for him? It might not have saved that. This game is kind of wonky with saving, I found. Like, even when I save sometimes, like, and I'll do, like, a manual save right before I quit, it sometimes just, just won't fucking work anyway. Um... Which I find very frustrating, because, like, I went to the effort to do, like, a manual save, you know? Can I hit your here? Yes, I can. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. My day-to-day -day so far has been a little bit busy, a little bit boring. You ask yourself how it can be both, and it can't. Of can. course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear Yeah, boy, okay, we did totally do all of this. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a I was gonna killer. say, yeah, I can skip Murder, it. Good, because I did this on Friday. Uh, I will say, it's really weird to me doing this um, twice a week instead of three times a week. I was like, oh my god, I forgot a stream, and then I was like, oh no, I didn't. Let's go. Yeah, oh my god, I did this with him. What the fuck? It just didn't save it. How are you? Pretty good. Oh god, that's so annoying. I'm gonna do this whole thing again, and like, y'all are gonna oh. watch me do it again. Yeah. I guess you just, you can't quit in the middle of like a thing. Um, even though I did save it, but like, I had to quit. I had a therapy appointment. Also, I know, like, the view of my boobs is good and all, but I'm really cold, so I'm gonna go under my blanket. It took me until like last year to realize that I can play video games under a blanket like this because I don't look at the controller you know the problem is like I could turn off the air conditioner um, but it's gonna get really hot today and then I'm worried our house is gonna get really hot because it won't be running I might turn off anyway I'm cold we appreciate that we rounded up the I mean, it might be because, as my grandmother would have said, uh, I am sitting in the house half naked. But. By which I mean, I'm wearing a tank top and shorts. Men's basketball shorts, in fact. It's like a favorite summer fit of mine, like a cute, like, tight tank top crop top, and then, like, baggy men's basketball shorts. Now they're dealing in you know, moonshine. just keep them guessing. We found their skills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall. I might grace. have to cancel this Friday stream with. actually because um. I have no time for tax dodgers. I love because he says I have no time for tax dodgers. Like, Catherine has a rather uh, he definitely dodges his taxes. The point there. I might have to cancel but this Friday stream because uh. Months ago, when we took Nova to the vet, um, I don't. I'm hoping it's no cause for concern, but they said that they heard a murmur in her heart, and I had had one vet say that they thought they heard it, but they weren't sure. And then we moved, and the new vet was like, "No, there's definitely a murmur." Um, and it took us like months to get an appointment with the cardiologist, so we finally have it this Friday where I'll be dropping her off pre-stream, but then at some point they're going to call, and I will have to go pick her up when they call. Um, I'm not going to like leave her there any longer than she needs to be, so depending on what time they call, if she's home before I start the stream, that might be fine, uh, but if they don't call by the time I start the stream, I might do it for a little bit, but then I might have to duck out because of uh, having to pick her up. So, I don't know. I'll probably just play it by ear. I don't know if it's better to, like, cancel it in advance, or if that even matters. Is it bad if I take the vegetables? Is that, is that allowed? Keep my eyes open, sir. Sir, there's a body here. No. 
This must have happened recently. Another body. Hey, come have a look at this. Yep. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. That sure My is a dead dude. This is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah. I yeah, I remember that. him saying that, me being like, oh yeah, we Let's run into them. They're bitches. Identification. Because they are. They're bitches. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Do you think they had to add in that line because people were like, you're just going to leave them? Dude, what the fuck? Okay, I'm trying to get up, but it, uh, it needed him to get up first, I guess. There we go. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters. I mean, on the one hand, I did this on Friday and I've already forgotten what was going on. <laughs> Yeah. On the other hand, though, uh, it is annoying to have to do it again, because it... Go this right game the doesn't crossroads. save really well. Uh, you idiot. Hey, do I need to take the reins back? That's funny. Oh, and, I know the brave and then he just goes right back to his monologue, oh, like shame. nothing ever happened. They're right again here. Trash begets trash. My oh, I remember, yeah, and then we have, like, a shootout, he because the Braithwaites are there, and he, he hates the Braithwaites or something. I mean, he clearly the hates them. He's got a the table before breakfast. And rather unhealthy hey, prejudice against them. Like a child's on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I mean, the kind of person you are sounds like a fucking ableist asshole. So like, judging a dude because he had, like, a, a non-typical hand. Like, that's sick. pretty shitty of you, my guy. Anyone we find here... We bring in alive, understood? All right. Them up and take this operation down for good. Oh no, we had to sneak. That's right. Oh fucking god. I can't believe I have to do this again. It's all coming back to me See? now, as Cher would have said. See? What that was a share song, right? Boys, what did I say? Or is that Celine Dion? This place was crawling with vermin, and we just found it's Celine Dion. I just like sang through part of it in my head to try to figure out who sang it. I don't know why I thought it was Cher. Well, the way I actually let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? I'll take whatever you're not taking. Um, I'll take we'll right. Take the right. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. Again, we are also filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Remember so, you know. We need them alive. Feels a little bit hypocritical Let's here, folks. Knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. I feel like moving through the water is going to make more noise than moving through the plants. Maybe I'm wrong, but... We won't catch the rider. Grab the other fella. Other fella. So there's one by the tree. By the distillery. You can take the distillery take one. one. That the looks harder. it nice and slow take it down and then hog tie Arthur what kind of hobbies are you into hog tying this man so efficiently pick up the moonshiner 
That's how my voice always like registers it when it's like in red like that. Moonshine will fuck you up, man. Like, where I'm from is rural enough that you can get like proper moonshine that someone like makes in their fucking backyard and shit. That shit, like, oh, they always joke about, like, you know, oh, yeah, moonshine is so, hey, Jen, moonshine is so strong, you know, like, you can't drink much of it, but, like, they're not fucking kidding. Uh, one time, I literally, like, thought, oh, it's no big deal, like, I can, okay, I have him at the wagon, let me put him in, no, I'm just supposed to stick him on the ground? How do I even do that? It's not letting me drop this man. Let let me drop the man. I don't I don't understand. This is our wagon. Yes. Return to the swamp. Well, which is it, guys? I think my game might be broken. Either that or I'm just a fucking dumbass. Because I'm trying every... Like, you can't see my thumbs and stuff, but, like, I'm trying every button command I have to drop this guy. Um, And I thought dropping was just square, you know? Like, I thought that would be... Now I'm trying to hold them all. No, none of that's doing anything. That changed my viewpoint, but nothing else. Alright. Oh, is there a different wagon? Oh, fuck me. I'm a dumbass. Oh my god. I'm humiliated. Anyway, uh, so one time uh, we had like a mason jar of moonshine and my friends and I were like, oh, like it's no big deal. We'll take shots of it. And then we were like, maybe we don't take shots. Maybe that'll kill us. Because um, that shit tends to be pretty undiluted, pure, powerful stuff. We each took, I shit you not, like two sips of it, which is also about as much as you can take because it tastes like Think that's it. It's very well, strong, but it actually doesn't do burn when it goes down. So we each took we two sips, and then it had, um, like a peach in the bottom, and we each had, like, a sure. third of the slice can. of the peach. So, and we were all tell me about so fucked up. Yeah, I'm sure. We were all so fucking fucked up by that. Uh, and again, like, sips. Literal like two sips and none of us were like lightweights we were all drinking pretty heavily at this time because it was like you know college um oh I think I'm supposed to put it honestly this feels like a goddamn waste of fucking moonshine that's what it does how much of it do I need to place do we think, like, two is enough, or...? Oh no, it just says stand clear, and then blow. Sure. Just a second. Oh, and then run, then we run, then we run. Oh boy. Fine, Bill. Okay, well, can I kill them, or do these ones have to be also not lethally taken care of? So I'm not gonna lie, I would really prefer to just shoot. Yeah, take them out. Oh, shit. I didn't bring my rifle off my horse. Give me a hand with these bastards. Working on it, buddy. Oh my god, Arthur. Do 
I like this gun better, or do I like this one better? Let's find out. Ooh. That was a nice shot. I should have took my taken my revolver off my or my rifle off of my horse. But uh, you know. Dustin's learned and all that. They specifically said not to take them out, so I think it didn't occur to me to bring my heavy firearms, you know. Come on, buddy. Come out. This guy right here. There we go. I understand Dead Eye is ready, but a part of me just kind of likes doing it without. It feels a little bit badass that way. Might not be as exciting for the folks at home, but like, I find it fun. Oof. back there guy fine but I'm looting at least two of them I am nothing if not fucking frugal I'm sorry, horsies. Arthur just sort of vibing in the middle there because he's a cheap son of a bitch that wants to loot some stuff. It's me, I'm Arthur. The cheap son of a bitch wants to loot some stuff. Even if I get shot a little bit in the, <laughs> in the attempting of looting. Okay, but like, what if there's something useful in one of these dilapidated houses, hmm? Hmm? Y'all don't consider that, right? But what if you're leaving behind a good canned food? See, I got ammo. You never have enough ammo. Not gonna loot every single body, just probably most of them. All the ones on my immediate path. Let's let's commit to that. See, a dollar forty nine I could have missed out on. <gasps> and potent bitters. Wow, I don't even know what those do. There's a lot to keep track of in this game, okay? Like, I'm doing my best, but uh, dear lord, there's a lot. I believe that's where I planted the dynamite. Yeah. And then this is their little footbridge to keep you from falling into the swamp. It's cute got a sort of s swampy charm to it. I'm gonna lean over and get my water. I have not really drank any water today, and I think that's why I have a headache. And my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But... I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others. 
cousins you know aren't shitty. Mean? Only I didn't quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid. Dutch. Back water so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Oh my God. I would have waited till he was a little bit more out of your shot, you know. Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure. Uh, I don't need moderate restoration. I will take. He can find a use for it. This is the most uh, entertaining part, right? Watching me scroll through my fucking. Health options. I'm just trying to find one that'll really just do stamina, but I don't think that's an option. Chew. Excuse me. Hang on. From what day was mm. yelling, I think nope. They okay, I think buyers. that's it. Oh, wasn't sure I was gonna sneeze again. Ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, I don't you know, know about that. Why don't I race you back? Oh boy. Sure. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. I think we can beat him, slut. Hey now. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. I can ride. I can ride. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna have to feed her after this, though. Holy shit. Trying not to tire her out too much before we get to the end stretch. I don't know exactly how close we are to camp. Oh boy. And this is where I fucking lost. Oh shit. I just carved right through that fucking fence. Did he just fucking wait for me? The cheek. I think we're fine. I think we can do it. Come on, girl. You can do this. I know, I know, but he's going so fast. I know I'm draining her stamina, but... Okay, can I give her something? Oh, that's for the horse. Yeah, all right. That'll fix her. Yeah, horsey, have some cocaine. I think I've beaten him. I've beaten him. <laughs> that last minute cocaine really did it. Well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, 
Well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. You're more than my son. You're my son I'd like to have sex with. What? All right, I need to feed her. Make sure she's fed. Yeah, give her an oat cake. Then we're gonna brush her. All right, yeah, I think we're doing good here. As far as like medicines go, do they have like horse medicine or is it just people medicine? No, all that's just people medicine. I don't really care much about that. Won't lie. I mean, like I do care, but like I don't need that right now, you know. This is a much nicer camp than we had before. I like that it's right on the water. That's very pleasing to me. Uh, I'll give an item. I'll give one of these, because I can't hold that many anyway. And I'll give one of these. And I'll give one of these. And I'll give one of these. Now, I just want to make sure I'm not the only fucking person contributing to this, is all I'm saying. We have 2146, and I think I just put all of them there. Cash. No. Yeah, cash from Charles. A carrot from Tilly. Wow, Tilly. Super generous of you, Tilly. Yeah, there's, like, nothing more I can afford at this time. I'd like to get some leatherworking tools, but, uh... For a second, Dutch. Of course. Well, it's Miss O'Shea. She doesn't seem too happy. That's Ooh, I like dropping eaves. Well, I hope so. I hope she doesn't make it all our business. She's got a temper on her, Dutch. She is not the only one of us with a temper, Miss Grimshaw. Damn. Well, I don't like it. Not now. It's like I always say. Oh, the same when it poem from before. Okay. Young women, and neither of them work. Oh, I've heard you say that nonsense before, and it did not impress them. <laughs> I like her. It didn't impress anyone then. It doesn't impress anyone now. Your that casual, way. weird sexism. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie. I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Is there stew? Wait, was that coffee? Wanna <gasps> eat sometime today? I'd like it's a coffee. It's coming. I'd like to have a coffee in the game. Of course Arthur takes his coffee fucking black. Pretentious motherfucker. I don't think there's anything else I need to- and just throws the cup on the ground. Truly a classy guy. Oh, not what I wanted. I wanted this to determine our next objective. Okay, I thought I saw something here. Lenny wants to speak to me. All right, Lenny. Sure. Oop, excuse me. What's that black dot about, anyway? Pick up a sack? Take this sack to Pearson's wagon? How would I know where Pearson's wagon is? Oh, okay, there's little Thank good. Because, like, I don't fucking know shit, man. Oh, 
Okay, so I need to put it down, like, he here. It's very particular about where you put it down. Oh, and then wait, there's a bucket I can pick up. And go fill it in the river, sure. Well, I've never noticed these little chores before. Wow, it's like doing chores at home, except... Easier on me physically. Folks seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. That we have, Reverend. Ooh, and there's Miss Pantsuit. Honestly, I look pretty fucking filthy. Maybe I should just wade out into the water. Yeah. Does that clean me? I didn't mean to cancel the chore. I was trying to fill it up in the river. That's the river. Right? Isn't that the river? Arthur, you look wet. The castle above the glen. Uh, oh, this seems like a romance novel. She was brave. Oh my god, it's like quite long, isn't it? I'm good. Without without that. I'm like good. Thanks. My, what a charade you are playing. The rest is, the law. is the castle above the moor just a different one in the same series of like torrid romance novels? Yep. A romance of old England. Well, that must be one of the ladies' tents, because only women read romance. Sure, Tilly, what do you want to talk about? What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Oh, I like their little friendship. I also think she's cute. How so? I've been getting real violent. For no good reason. It's true. You have been. Hurting people just for the sake of it. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. Oh, excuse me. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. I had my coffee today like usual, but I'm just... Fuck. I don't know. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think hmm. their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently oh, it's still my God. in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. I think and there's flies dealers, around, Arthur. Sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway... The old boy I was talking to reckon there might be a bunch of Or is that just because we're like in the in camp and there's flies? Maybe a nice stash of weapons. It's just a bunch of crazies gardening? Exactly. Well. Well, this is done. I'm gonna check his uh least, isn't it? That was cleanliness my status. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. I would okay. not mind killing some uh, Confederate soldiers. That sounds fun, actually. Right then. Let's take a quick look at Arthur. 
He is still underweight. Um, but I don't think he's dirty. I think it would say if he was dirty. How's she doing? Clean, calm, fit, good. So she's perfect. I am underweight. Let's go, Robson. Maybe because I've been like low key forcing a vegetarian diet on him. Like not on purpose, just like all the like fucking beans and stuff come up first, you know? And like the biscuits and shit. So I keep just like eating the biscuits, but like maybe he needs to eat a a meat, you know? Not like plain stringy meat. We can spare one of those. In the hopes that he'll get up to weight a little. Okay. I mean, it's been a really long time since I've gotten him a bath, but. I don't know why I thought going through water would do the same thing. That might not be true. You know, I might have met these crazies before. Really? You've been drinking again? No. I feel like I'd remember that. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Oh, those yeah. guys. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. Hmm. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Pecklewood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily... So were we in the north before, and now we're in the south? Like, they have you southern draws like they're in the south. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Mm. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks, but some places down here, they judge different. Well, no. guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. I appreciate Arthur saying that to him. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every Recognizing his privilege, giving sympathy to his friend. Uh, okay, then. Plus... It beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Hang on, Lenny. I just gotta break a fence real quick. I didn't like the way that fence was Whoa. looking at me. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house. Down in the bayou somewhere. Hmm. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, oh. these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield. Keep on going. Do yeah, we wanna go I in at night, before. or do we wanna... I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. But where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, mm. I don't care to. Nope. No, thank you. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, 
it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Do we think he was given wrong info? Oh my god, Arthur, are you sketching? You following back Saw an old church, found it interesting. Not sure why. Wow. I didn't know we had a fucking journal. And he's... Not a bad sketch. Huh. And that's our gang savings, which I can't fucking read because it's dark as shit. It's maybe 450? Why do we go from 750 to 450? Hey, you see something? Why are you stopping? Sorry, man. Hear that? Someone's on the track. So what do we do? I hear him. There they are. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Yep. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow at least. I need to make sure I doesn't lose I don't lose sight of it, but also like not super closely tailing. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Oh Might yeah, be. that's a big house. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, that is a big fucking house. house. <laughs> Must be shady bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. What do we think the odds are that I can make camp and do this in the morning? Are you coming? When it's, you know, better seeing conditions. Cool. By morning, I mean, you know, we game morning. From that wall up there. Make sure you bring the sharpshooter. Ooh, yeah, I'll that's a good call. You get in cover there. That one has a little bit more range. And does more damage, so I'm taking that for sure. Fuck, did I get a fucking tomahawk? Oof. That's a sniper rifle, so I'm taking that. Can I also take this? Oh, hell yeah. I am loaded up. Get your back against the wall there. Right, sorry. I love a sniper rifle, I really do. No! No, don't climb the wall, you idiot. I'm trying to get him to take cover behind it. There we go. Did you see anything? Yes. Yes. Damn. Damn. Almost a militia. You got men covering the house. Yep. I think Down that's road, all arms. We'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. 
That does look like what explosives to me. Guy there. I think you might be looking too high. I think there's something if you look up a bit further. Okay, Lenny. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? What are they shooting at? You got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? I don't think they're going to take your friend shot. who is non-white super well, friendly. I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for performance. Go now I'm going to shoot the on. dynamite. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Are right, we ready? It's happening. No! Wow, that was fucking satisfying as shit. Why? Wow. Dude, don't push up too early, man. Let me keep sniping from back here and help you out. Did I kill my friend or did I kill... Okay, I killed the other guy. Fuck, there he is. Are you now? Hell yeah, man. Oh, fuck you, man. I love how sassy Lenny is being with them right now. Alright, I'm gonna take something that'll give me some health and stamina back. Oh, did I just die? But I just took a thing. That might have restored my core, but not my health. Shit. I hate that they're separate. It's it is very confusing for a dumb so, fuck like me. I'm gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. All right. I'm gonna get something up here that'll just restore health, not health core. Do I have anything like that? Oh, those will do it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that up. And then we'll leave that up. Wait, no, I didn't mean to take one. What the fuck did I take? Oh, it was only a canned pineapple. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure it wasn't one of my fucking tonics. It's happening. Alright, so there's a couple of them. I feel like I like the sniper rifle better, but I can get off way less shots before having to reload, you know? Just trying to get this one that's going after my buddy. Fuck you, that man. There you go. Gonna burn your corpse, boy. Are you? Oh, 
Wait, are you still not dead, man? How many times do I have to fucking chew you? Man, what the fuck? How many point-blank range fucking shots do you have to take before you go down, buddy? Shit. I cannot afford to be missing this many shots, man. I'm nervous as fuck right now. Oh god. Is this what your pappy fought for? Oh, the shade, I love him so. You know what? I think I am gonna take this back out for a second. We're gonna die, buddy. I think y'all are gonna fucking die. Ugh, I hate the fucking wait time to redo those shots. Like, you can't just press it and keep shooting, you know? You have to, like, wait. I love that he called them silly men playing dress up. Oh my god. The shade, Mr. Morgan. There we go. And that's why we bring the sniper and rifle, bitch. Saw one there, yep. Go on, stick your head out. Where are we still getting shot at from? Where are my few stubborn, lonely, and about to be dead holdouts? Hmm. Wait, did that not shoot in the. Nope, it just knocked him over, I guess. Okay. Holy shit, we get them all. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. What are we grabbing? Let's search these wagons, okay? All right. Keep looking. This is just trash. Here's a wagon. Hey, this could be promise. Woof. Does that look like weapons to anyone? Searching. Okay, well to do that I'd have to Yeah. Here. Come on. Ooh, yeah. Full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get I really wish we could have yep. blown up the whole fucking plantation yeah. house. Actually, we got to get these back. We do, we do, buddy. I just want to, I just want to put down a dynamite. No, I'm trying to. How do I? I can't figure out how to put it down. Whatever. It was an attempt, okay? An attempt was made. Attempts were made. Yeah. 
Oh dear, and now I'm stuck. So, we're a little stuck. There we go. Alright, now let's take this. No. Okay, so horse parallel parking is not my- Oh god! The wagon became inoperable. Please tell me I can just go from getting in the wagon and I don't have to kill all those people again. So I have to kill all those people again, I'm done. I'm done. Easy, okay, good. Let's there go, we go. go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Don't spare the nag. Come on. I'm working on it. I want to make sure I didn't make the wagon inoperable again. Come on. G up. Fall in. Let's what about our horses? Riders. Coming our way. Keep it together. Hey! Stop! I don't like it. Whoa. Let's go. They might be on to us. I'm working. You think they might be on to you? Really? What makes you say that? Sir, I am Pound an X. I can't see anyone chasing us. Oh, there's our horses. Boy, oh boy. You did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot. I think our wagon is quite I tilted. I think we're missing a wheel or something now. Good to have something to show like this. Sean's I think that's part of why we're going so slow. We are missing Sean. a wheel. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. Guess my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on the Bidicus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But there's nothing but nothing. Me and Dutch. And everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. Good. I don't feel like necessarily role playing the rest of this. Yep, there's the missing wheel. Very rickety ride. I like that our horses are like well trained enough that they'll just follow us. Let's get there. I think Arthur knows where the camp is, Lenny. Like all respect to you, but I'm pretty sure Arthur knows where you live. Where you all live together. Like I think he knows. Lenny? It didn't say the coming back part out loud, so it just He's sounded like he said their names. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Now I got a new rifle. The bolt action rifle, to be exact. I think I could use a little nap nap. Maybe. Uh, if I can figure out where the Good fuck morning, that is. Arthur. Good morning. I mean, I totally didn't just work through the night. Nothing to see here. Where the fuck is Arthur's tent anyway? Ooh, stew! You know, I've never actually had stew before. 
Well, like the first time they showed it as a mechanic, but like every other time I've come, it's like, oh, there's none available. Throws the dish on the ground. Would we have it any other way? No, I suppose we would not. I think this is my... Yeah, this is my tent. What's wrong now? I've seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? Oh my who god. Who? Getting too old for you, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional. Again. Won't even look me in the eye, but you look at her all day. Doesn't matter I'm what just gonna I do say, some reading. Whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid. I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! Hi, I'm just taking an evening stroll. Nothing to see or worry about here. Also, sorry. Oh, I actually can't. I was gonna clean my guns, but I actually I can't clean my guns here. It's it's forbidden. Nope, shit. Nope, not what I wanted. What does Bill Williamson want? Let's go find out. Hello, Javier. You ain't gonna turn hey. us in, are you? <laughs> What a weird thing to say. Who would turn each other in? Like, what the fuck? Chicken. I need a word with you, Morgan. Literally coming over to talk to you right now, Bill. Ma'am. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Gonna like Why do you look like a budget version of horseshoe. Wow, she's you got kicked up all that commotion and Wow, time. okay. Now we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. Okay. Just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. Oh, shit. You really think it's worth going The back bank there? in Valentine. Four of us can hit the bank easy. But I ain't gonna wow, lie girl, you. look like we'll shit. We'll be law if we linger. Are you serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. If we go in quick and quiet, yeah, we can hit it just risk. fine. It's a bank, Arthur. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, but like the According joke the writes met, itself. Yes, it's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a get bath. Okay. So, Bill. It's better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Well, that sucks. Oh, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. The sick guy. If he has a wife and child, she will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen. Let's go rob God, ourselves a bank. Such... Wow. The plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in after. She's distracting now that she's busied. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow me. Uh 
Oh, I'm gonna put my hat back on. Want the hat. You can tell she's not a real lady because she doesn't ride side saddle. She's a whore. can go wrong. Anything can. Once the shooting starts. Like I say. That's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. I think you're actually only technically a quote unquote whore if you get paid for sex. Uh and I've never actually gotten paid for sex yet. I'll show you boys. Unless you count like what are you thinking this time? Dinner and drinks. I don't know. Fellas Does that count? Like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. That's this true. Work. Once she's got him distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you probably mm. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? No. What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. That sounds like putting in the work all right. Sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. You got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't this seems like such a dumb and I idea. But I'm like I'm in for it, we'll try. And not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Double of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up is just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, well that's because Arthur can do no wrong and has a 10-inch penis. It's okay, slut. Slut, I'm so sorry. Oh, I was trying to... I was trying to, like, comfort her. Um... Well, I kind of ran into them. It was a little mutual. But yeah, it was totally their fault, and they were very rude for it. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake! And I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Give him a participation no. trophy. I got the lead on this one. Those we'll go over really that. well. Once things get going. You know, they always say like millennials got so many participation trophies. So thinking this I think I got one every year on right field day that was to make the less athletic kids uh feel less back. bad about ourselves. <laughs> But, like, I didn't want that, I didn't ask for it, and honestly, I found it more insulting than getting nothing. Like, I threw them away every year. I don't know anyone who was ever excited to receive the participation trophy. Which, again, like, was only a thing I got annually in public, or in private school? Like, other than that, I never got any fucking participation trophies for anything. Like... And, like, whenever we did get them again, no one was happy about them. So I don't understand the boomer hatred of, uh, you know, all the millennials and their participation trophies because they're so soft. You gave them out, and we didn't like them. And four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery. I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Boomers are so smart. That's why the economy is in shambles, the environment is in crisis, and, uh, you know, student debt is higher than ever, and there's no, like, place in the U.S. where you can work a minimum wage job 40 hours a week and, like, rent a single apartment in any city in the U.S. Because boomers are so smart. Yeah, 
You are so right. One generation thought it was a good idea to give them out. And then, like, mocked us for it later. But, like, I have also, like, they continue to run articles like... They do. They just blame everything on millennials. Millennials are killing the diamond industry. Millennials don't want to buy diamonds that are paid for in lives when there are just as, like, good alternatives that are, like, lab-grown. You know what I mean? Millennials are paying more for avocado toast and Starbucks and takeaway, and they could afford houses without those. Dude, if I saved up $20 a week, like, or even 50 or or $100 a week, that would not be enough to buy a house. By the time I had enough to buy a house, inflation would have made it so that it's still not enough to buy a house. So I might as well have my stupid little pink drinks for $6 and, like, have a little bit of goddamn serotonin every once in a while. I don't even get the quote Starbucks pink drink. Like, okay. that's not even the drink I get. Um, but I get a drink that happens to be pink. But the pink drink is like a specifically named right, thing with like coconut are. milk and stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah. Why are you poor? You have an iPhone. It's not like you need a cell phone to get a job these days or anything. Okay. Cool. I have literally interviewed for jobs where they're like, do you have a car? And if you say no, they're like, well, then we won't hire you because we don't trust that you're going to get here without your own car or access to your own car. Like, you'd think it's discriminatory, but it's not. Oh, yeah. Why do you have the Internet? We never decided. Is it lost little girl? We need that to apply for jobs because you can't just go into a place and apply for jobs. I've actually tried to do that and everyone has looked at me like you're insane. Go online. Is it bad that I want her to be a harlot? I'm picking oh, harlot. Of course, you know I like the harlot. Arthur, why'd you say it like that? Oh, the there's one. the titties. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. She is. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. I feel like she's a little more believable as a drunken harlot than a lost little girl because, like, she's a little old for a lost little girl. Lost little girl is, like, 15 or younger years old, you know? I'm not trying to age her out of it or anything, but, like... I love her. Yeah, I'm just going to shove him down on the ground. I'm not actually trying to hurt anyone, for the most part. Open the teller's door. Where would that Where would that live, if I were a teller? Here. Maybe? Here? Oh no, it's got a little thing over there. Come on, let's move this along! Sorry, I don't know where tellers are. Open that goddamn vault! Open it! I'm not actually gonna shoot him, I'm just making him feel pressured. Just open the goddamn door. How's it going in there? Too slowly! You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. How hard is it to open a fucking door? You get five more seconds, buddy. Five, four, three, two, one. You got damn slow! Beat. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Shut up, a bitch! Hurry up! Come on! Okay. I feel like he's just playing with us. How many fucking... How hard is it to open a goddamn combination lock? They usually have three numbers, not like 27. Goddamn. Oh, I didn't do that extra pistol with. Arthur decided to do that on his own. I'm in. Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. Open the lock boxes now. 
I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I, God. Okay, decorating yeah, critique. Why are the nails up here and the pictures are like two feet lower? Who did that? Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. We're gonna try it. You shut the hell up and stay still. Okay. This is surprisingly difficult. I'm not really getting this sense of what they're talking about, that it's supposed to be going slower. It tries to vibrate a little bit. Okay, to be most efficient, someone else should... This is slower, but it's quiet. Someone else should okay. loot it at, after I crack it. Boys, you need to move this along. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Okay, I do think I need to do it slowly. Doing it too fast, I think, doesn't do it. Please, let me go. Okay, no, it doesn't matter how fast I do it. There we go. It said slowly, so I thought maybe that fucking mattered. But we're getting there. Few more minutes. How's it looking there? Good. I mean, yeah, I've got two so far, and that's like seven thousand dollars. That's pretty fucking crazy the amount of money for these times. I mean, right now, if you hand me seven thousand dollars, I'd be pleased as punch, and then ask what the fuck you wanted for it. That's a lot of money, even now. This is giving me flashbacks to uh, always forgetting what my combination was on my locker in high school, and then having to like crack my own locker, or like I had it written in the front of my planner. And then I would always have to check it. But then actually, like, towards the end of my high school career, they gave me one of the lockers that, like, if you didn't turn it after you're done, you could just open it. So I did that. And just never locked my locker. There's nothing of value in there. It was just fucking textbooks. Like, the occasional lip gloss. My coat. I would have noticed if someone stole my coat. You know what I mean? Like... So I didn't get, honestly, why I needed to keep it locked. Like, I didn't have any... I had a cell phone, but I kept it with me at all fucking times. One. Good. We gotta move. And yes, I am being a completionist and cracking all of them. Um, so yeah, there's nothing, like, of value to steal in my locker. I did learn an important lesson when I was in college about locking my dorm room. Um, so I always first I always kept it locked when I wasn't there. I wasn't that fucking stupid. But I lived in the, the honors college, which had like 100 people in it. And I knew like m not even 100 people, probably like 50 people, actually. And I knew fucking all of them. Um, so I wasn't like super worried about it when I was in the room. I would leave it unlocked because, uh, you know. Fine. I was being lazy or whatever, Let's like, go. a roommate would come in and, Everybody. you know, like, whatever, that's fine. All of you count to Until <laughs> one day, this girl that, like, I've... She was, like, really well-meaning, but, like, really kind of creepy and, like, overly aggressively friendly. Uh, she knocked on the door, and I say like hello and I was trying to take a nap so I didn't answer as if I wasn't there and the lights were off as if I wasn't there she opened up the door while I was napping and I just pretended like I slept through this but I did not because you didn't fucking notice um, so I acted like I'm sleeping through this right um, except I'm not she looks in sees me sleeping goes 
and shuts the door behind her. And later, I actually tried to confront her about it and was like, Hey, did you try to... Did you, like, knock on my door earlier? Someone said they heard you knocking. And she was like, no, that wasn't me. I was like, okay, you didn't, like, go in my room, did you? That would be weird. She was like, no, no, I would never do that. I was like, okay. Did you need anything from me? And she was like, oh, I wanted to see if you had some nail polish I could borrow. And I was like, no? What the fuck? No, we're not. Normally, yes, but now you weirded me out, so no. I feel like she had been, and she never took any... But, like, I only left it unlocked whenever I was there. So she never came in unexpectedly when I was there, except for that one time. And then after that, I learned my lesson to always lock the door, whether I was in the room or not. Um, like, to the point where if I was, like... So our bathrooms were the ones down the hall, which you shared with half the floor. To the point where if I was going to the bathroom, I would lock the door. Um... She was also the girl who, uh, one time, I, uh, I don't even know what direction I'm supposed to be going, I'm just running. Um, one time the fire alarm went off when I was in the shower, and yes, I had to go outside, uh, naked except for a towel. Um, and it was pretty cold, but, like, some nice people gave me, like, a jacket or two, because they felt bad. Um, it was this same creepy, weird girl who had, uh, gotten back to the dorm's trunk decided she wanted to make popcorn fair we've all been there meant to put it in for three minutes set the timer for three hours three hours went down the hall to take a shower did not notice or think about the popcorn even when it started smelling like burnt smoke like burnt popcorn smoke uh, and then the alarm went off thank you but by the time she got back to her room, like, she finished her shower, completed her shower, went back to her room, shut it, like, but the smoke alarm was already going off by that point and stuff, so I had to go outside. <laughs> but she got to be outside clothed, even though it was her fault. And when the fire department came, they were like, who lives here? And they said her name, but they pronounced it incorrectly, and her first order of business was correcting their pronunciation of her name. Instead of being like, I'm so sorry. And then after that, her roommate was like, yeah, she ruined my microwave. My Like, I saw the microwave. It was just all melted, disgusting plastic. She didn't even want to pay for the roommate to get a new microwave. Um, her roommate ended up obviously getting a new roommate after that because, like, holy shit. And, like, this girl was weird, but, like, I don't know. That was a whole other level of, like, just strange college times and... I don't know. I felt bad because, like, everyone in the honors college, including me, was, like, nice, but, like, kind of socially awkward nerds. You know, like, yeah, there were a couple assholes in there, right? Uh, and there were some weirdly hyper-religious people, which was uncomfy. But, like, for the most part, we were all, like, just nerds who had varying degrees of social skills. So, like, I tried really hard to be, like, you know, nice to everybody. And, like, I had some good friends while I was there. Um, but, like... So I was trying really hard to be nice to her and not, like, turn her down because I didn't want to be a dick. But, like, in retrospect, girl had no concept of boundaries whatsoever. Like, absolutely whatsoever. Honors College, uh, in a conservative area is super fun because you think you're going to be in with all the science nerds and then you have a girl dead ass say in the middle of your biology class that she doesn't believe in evolution so that's spicy the professor literally was like okay is there anything i can do to convince you and she went no i don't think so i don't think that's what god did and he went okay well then i'm not gonna waste my time and he kept going he was a fucking baller for that Now, why am I coming to this ranch? Great, great question. It just told me to head here. Great question. Wait, this isn't like the My dead husband, husband right? The and you've come back here. Oh, yes, it is. 
I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out. I don't like doing this. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder I, I had the choice to kill him, and I very I much didn't. I terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Is she, like, leaving? Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect <laughs> for the lacks of you. Ooh. Well, maybe so when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy. Arthur, maybe what the shall, fuck? And maybe other events will transpire. That's like a teenager. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. Next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Well, that sucked, and I hated doing it. I feel like the story knew that I was going to skip it, too, because it made me go there. It knew how many players were gonna just, like, you know, leave the goddamn Widow alone. I understand I'm playing a game as a cowboy, but I don't have to, like, love every moral decision Arthur Morgan makes. Random side question. Does anyone have gardening experience or knowledge i've been doing some gardening this summer and i'm actually very happy with the way things have been turning out um my cherry tomato plant which i got when it was like about six inches tall has now grown over like three feet i'd say it's a big boy you can see him from the street and we are on the third level balcony so you cannot see any of my other plants really from the street like but you can see that guy as of this morning, he started growing, she started growing little baby tomatoes that are like the size of little beads. But like, is there a point where a cherry tomato bush can get too big? Is I guess the wondering that I'm having. Like, can she get too big? They're so, oh my God, Jen, they're so cute. I went out there this morning and I was showing Jason and I was like, <gasps> those flowers Jason and then I saw them and like the biggest one is like not even as big around as like a quarter it's very small it's very good and like the littlest one is like the size of like those plastic beads you put on like friendship bracelets as kids like not the really tiny ones the ones that are like I don't know a little bit smaller than a dime dog We have a dog? Where did he come from? I don't know. <gasps> a dog! He just wandered in. Hi, friend. Hi, my friend. Can I pet it? Can I feed it? Can I love it? Oh, it's cute. <gasps> we have a dog now. Can I pet it because it's ours? That's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Aww. Nova heard me doing my dog voice and was like, I'm here. I'm a dog. He's Hello, wandering. sweetheart. You are a dog. I think you're getting a bit too attached to that bad Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. You named him Kane, as in Bigfoot? <laughs> well. Wow. Okay. What did Kane do? Little Bigfoot dog, thing. little Sasquatch dog, and now I've got. Never now I've got my dog in my lap. Which is very nice, and she has this bright toy, which she hopefully won't uh, won't squeak too much. I'm very excited about the dog child. Uh, if you're wondering why the fuck did she just say Kane is a Bigfoot, uh, I learned recently that um, some sects of Mormonism believe that Cain was forever cursed to wander the earth due to his sin, which was like, I think the first murder overall, but also like definitely the first 
like fratricide he killed his brother abel uh and they believe he was forever doomed to wander the earth as a cursed like humanoid ape man and there are some who believe that that takes a uh, form in the form of bigfoot oh my god thank you for actually looking up an article holy shit thank you Oh, I have bad news. The only fucking thing left to do is go to fucking Micah. Well, that's a lie. I could... I could break into this man's house. Sure. I'll break into a man's house first. Do you think he ever gets tired of the same... Actually, no. I was about to ask, does he get tired of the same songs, but... Who am I kidding? When I find a song I like, I play that shit on repeat until I cannot stand to listen to it anymore. I'm gonna sleep till morning. I like traveling when it's light out. I am not gonna 100% this. Hell no. That's that's a lot for me uh there are i have a hundred percent at a lot of games but this one is like it overwhelms me truly um so that's that's gonna be a no hey buddy slut are you trying to get off oh i meant <sighs> i meant was she trying to unhitch herself for once, that was not an intentional euphemism. You'll know when they're intentional, because I tend to make like a, eh, like a really stupid face. Stupider than the resting one. All right, girl. Oh, look. It's Sheriff Morgan. <laughs> do I still have that fucking- Oh my god. How do I take off this stupid fucking badge? I don't, I don't want the badge. She can have a, a corn. She can have a corn. And I can have baked beans. Just, you know, from the can. Like we like them. Well, I guess we're stuck with the stupid fucking badge now. In perpetuity. Everything good? I heard a voice. Oh shit. Oh, uh, hey mister. Remember me? Come on over. Oh yeah, you're the plant enthusiast. Well, hey, I just see, left camp, so I will do it next time, but American thank you. Ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. I like that Arthur just has a plant buddy. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. I can't carry anymore, but I can eat some raw ginseng right off the fucking thing. Wait, isn't that what they put in, like, Red Bull? I remember when I was younger, I used to, oh my god, there was a period I went through where I was sick into Mountain Dew. Like, it was not cool. Um, and then they came out with Mountain Dew D Voltage, which was the 
the blue one, um, which they still sell. It was meant to be limited time, but it was so popular that they just kept selling it. And they added in ginseng along with the caffeine. And I remember, like, vibrating on that shit. Um, and then I would get, like, monster energy drinks with my friends and stuff. And my mom would be like, "You, if you drink an energy drink, your heart will spontaneously stop. And I'd be like, okay. I'm not, I'm not concerned. That should have probably been an indication to my mother that I was, like, not doing very well mentally. But, whatever. I also don't think energy drinks can make your heart instantly stop unless you, like, have something wrong with your heart. Uh, I don't think they just do that. Normally. I suppose I've never really looked into it. Insert some from over here. Everything good? Such a badass. Thank you. No, I was just very mentally ill. Um, <laughs> hey! Wow, I'm shooting like absolute garbage, wasting a bunch of bullets and not hitting them besides. Alright, there. I got them all. Whew. All right, that was spicy. Well, we might as well get off and loot the bodies. I just went over to see who they were. I never think of myself as being badass at all, and then every now and again someone will tell me that I am for doing something that I think is, like, benign. And I'm like, okay, I'm not mad at that label. Uh, to give you an example, and this is not just me trying to make myself sound good, this is me talking because I need to, you know, fill the stream. Um, <laughs> a couple weeks ago we went to a restaurant uh, in, like, a... a like, crowded area that's hard to find parking with friends. It was like an outdoor restaurant, so we felt safe with that COVID-wise. Um, which is not relevant. What's relevant is that we were trying to find a parking spot. Couldn't find one. Uh, Jason was about to drop us off and just go find one on his own, which would have been really far. And then we noticed that uh, Jason had passed it ever so slightly, but there was a car backing out. So we had him stop the car, um, and then I got out to like go towards the parking space well at that moment another car pulls like they're trying to get to it and without thinking i just fucking stood in the parking space like they were going really slow and it was like a parking lot i was like what are you gonna do fucking hit me oh i'm sorry rabbit um there was a part of me that was like like i would have cared if i had gotten hit right but like I just sort of stood there like this, and the dude rolled down his window, and I was like, my husband is literally right there, and I pointed at our car, and I was like, we were waiting for this spot. And then he sort of shrugged and went about his way. But what my friend saw from across the way was me just sort of jumping into a parking space that a dude was trying to get into. They didn't hear the exchange at all. They just saw me doing that and were like, this bitch is fucking crazy. She's crazier than we knew. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lamar. Oh, I appreciate that this is narrated. Repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden. Okay, well, can I go in? Okay, no. That's a no. This is the sad dude in the town square that was like... If I could only have my possessions back, I'd be a member of society again. Hedger, watch. Pistol. What is that? Oh, empty bourbon. I mean, fair. So I, uh, got these, um... They're called... I forget what they're called, actually. There's some kind of lemonades that have uh, Jack Daniels in them. Uh, they're like malt. They're like, you know, a wine cooler, basically, but with, burp, like, whiskey 
I don't know the difference between whiskey and bourbon. Um, whatever, you know, in them. Um, and the other day, uh, I do this thing in this summer. Thanks indeed for your oh. talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did. Well, that's did cute. Of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Makes me feel kind of bad. Um, but the other day, so in the summer, I do this thing where I'll, June I mean, 7, I do this thing. This is not a novel idea. Dear like, sir, I'll get some fresh strawberries and muddle them in a glass, and then we'll usually put some rum and then some lemonade, and it's really fucking good. Um, you can do it with any fruit. It's delicious. Um, and you can do it with whiskey, too. So the other day, Jason did one, and he was like, I want to do it with whiskey. But then we didn't have enough lemonade left like regular lemonade for me to do the same thing so i went oh i'll just use one of my wine cooler women lemonades it'll be fine bitch fucking please i cannot apparently handle a wine cooler and whiskey on top of it uh because i was so drunk that i wrote a country love song about 24-hour walmart i'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation which i do really miss because it was like 11 p.m at night and i was having a craving and i couldn't go get what i wanted even though i live in a big city and it's because we don't have a 24-hour walmart these are trying times for all of us you are in our i miss going to 24-hour walmarts at like 3 a.m with my friends when i was like 15 and just doing nothing else because in pennsylvania the choices were go to the walmart go to the 24-hour diner or do meth It is. It is a catch-up drink. Uh, and I was done. I was done after it. Uh, like, we were going to have salad with our dinner, and Jason was like, That's we can't have wash. salad. I'm giving I'm you rice. You need bed. something more substantial in your stomach, or you're going to be so sick. And I was like, That's fair. I'm a lightweight bitch these days especially, so. Dear Jeremiah, I feel like this is meant to be a big deal because it's like narrating through all these things. But, Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Yeah. but like, I don't know this okay. man, so this well, we found the watch. I found some canned vegetables, so I'm not mad about that. Okay, so nothing of value in there. Uh, the most drunk I've ever been in my life was, um, if you ever heard of an Arnold Palmer, which is like a staple where I'm from, it's half lemonade, half iced tea. Um, I don't know if they have any other names anywhere else, but Arnold Palmer is from like very close to where I'm from in Pennsylvania, so. God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Um, but I did an Arnold Palmer with a Mike's Harder lemonade, not hard, harder lemonade, and sweet tea vodka. About half and half. So drunk that I knew I needed water. Couldn't stand to get water. And drank water out of the dog bowl with the dog. And all of my roommates saw that and went, she's good. My best friends, I love them dearly. But they were all also so drunk that they were like, Katie is fine. Katie's doing fine. And I was, like, drinking out of the dog bowl. And then later when people were like, you share a popsicle with your dog? I was like, bitch, I've shared water with my dog. That is way grosser. No, and I'm gonna need my fucking hat back, guy. Stop stabbing me. It's, it's I get to stab you, bitch, not the other way around. I got one good stab in there. You just keep slicing me, but I got a stab. There's a stab. Pick up my hat. It's important to me. Is there anything else in here? Oh, hang on. Got to stab a guy first, apparently. Okay, actually, oh shit, I was pressing the thing to take, like, a health thing, and I didn't get to. Well, this time I won't try to inspect the letter, because I, I know that the other one's gonna come at me. Just 
into the wall? You can't get away from me that easy, buddy. You can't get away from me just from going into the wall. Except you totally, you totally can. Okay, so we've learned not to bring a knife to a gunfight, but also not to bring Katie to a knife fight. God damn you. What? No. I meant to have my knife out. Yes, yeah, stab him while he's down, Arthur. Ooh, ooh! Sickening. Oh no, I want to loot the strangers! Also, I am covered in blood. Ooh. Does this letter have anything interesting on it? It's under a hat, so that's weird. Mr. Thompson. After numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees... Just alike, no place for a man like you? What kind of man was this guy? What skeletons are we about to uncover in the basement? Um... Does this look like a torture den to anyone else? I'm like half afraid to open this. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heel. Oof. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. What did you anymore. do? Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment, if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. I feel like this is also a Confederate soldier who I God. hold no sympathy in my heart for. Is this just a ledger of all the people he's killed? This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh, Rewards. January oh 15th. Oh my god. Betsy, $17. January 18th. Louise. $12. May 18th. Wilfred. $18. May 24th. Minnie and Child. $20. I... Just a stinking pistol. <laughs> I don't want to give this man any of this. I want to use his own pistol to shoot him in the fucking head. My god. God, what the fuck? Is there an... Okay, there was an upstairs, but there there isn't now. Oh wait, is this his pistol? Yeah, he really cared about it. He left it on the fucking floor. I just thought it was a piece of pipe. Oh, that'll be the pistol. Nope, still can't get I thought it might just be barred one way, you know, but uh Wow, this man deserves everything he's gotten, and honestly, I might give him some extra for good measure. Dutch may have asked us to not cause trouble, but like... Dude. Sorry, there's just like, I'm not gonna... There's no way to make slavery funny and jokey. Or there are, but not, not in ways that I will engage and participate in. You know. Yep. Oh, look at all the deer. 
Oh my god, the other day we were at Jason's parents, and they have, like, a nice condo that's, like, fairly suburban, so they'll get, like, you know, little critters and stuff. And when we got there, there was, like, a a big bunny, which we were both like, oh, that's so cute. Like, we haven't seen a bunny in a while. Um, Jason, apparently, like, in longer... Well, like, because he's lived in the city for quite a while, right? Whereas I'm more used to them. Nova saw the bunny, was excited, and we were like, no, no. No, no. And then, when we were leaving the house, there was a baby bunny, like, so small, like, fist-sized. She didn't even fucking notice it. She just went straight to the car. Not a hunter, this one. Oh, man. Oh, man. You show some respect. Nope. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? Things. Don't you understand? Those bastards have changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in it my It should have never been that way in the first place, buddy. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies... Oh, they are pissing What are you doing? That's, that's my history. Good. I'm not even doing this. Damn you. Damn you. I still exist. Oh. I'd really prefer it if you didn't. I'd like to kill him. Okay, I can't stab him. Oh, that's pretty nice. I like that he caught on fire. That felt good. That felt good. Shh, shh, hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. I'm gonna steal from you now, alright? Well, I'm trying to anyway. It doesn't seem to want to let me. Come on, oh, no, I wasn't trying to. No, you know what, baby? You're free. You do, you do whatever you want. I'm sorry, horsey, but... Again, not gonna lie, that felt good as hell. Yeah. There, girl. All right. Does that mean the only fucking thing left to do is to go to Micah? Ugh. Fine. But I'm gonna have to like go through the whole portion where I'm like very much huge bounty and I don't I don't love that for me. I probably should have done this a while ago, but I just didn't want to go see Micah because I hate Micah. He's a racist, sexist piece of shit. But I don't think I get to choose to like not engage with him. Oh, I don't actually want to be on the bridge, I wanna be below the bridge. Oops. Sorry, girl. Sorry, girl. I appreciate that he said Saint Denis because it would be a French pronunciation, right? Will you? Ah! 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 
Reload. Come on. We'll put you in the dark, you bastard. Yep. Oh, that's a horse. I don't want to kill the horse. I'm now wanted. Why am I wanted? For killing gang? I just went bowling. Bowling is deadly, kids. Don't, don't, don't bowl. Give me one sec, sorry. Time sensitive inquiry. Well, at least now I don't have to worry about being wanted because I. That, that just didn't happen. I do kind of wish for the random encounters that it would give you the opportunity to, like, try it again, you know? Hey, Mark. That would be nice. Okay, her health core looks low. Can give her a corn. And then my health core also wasn't looking like amazing. Uh, we'll go with. No, I need a little bit better than slightly. There we go. That one looks perfect. I try to use my meals so efficiently. <laughs> like, I probably don't need to be as anal about it as I am, but whatever. That's the story of my life. I'm a Virgo ri uh, Virgo uh, rising, so... When I was younger, I was like, Oh, I don't believe in astrology. I don't feel like a Virgo. And then I got older, and I was like... Oh, you know that picture of Ben Affleck taking a drag on a cigarette, just looking like long suffering? That's how I feel about astrology now. I'm like, Ugh. I don't want this to be so fucking accurate, but it always is. And like, not in like a cold reading type way either, where it's like, you wish you could use more money, like everyone does. You know what I mean? Capricorn, Sun, Scorpio, Moon, Taurus, Rising. Ooh. I will be honest with you, I don't know as much about the signs as I do about mine, so I think I actually said that wrong. I'm a... Virgo is my main one. Um, I'm a... So I would be a Virgo sun, but then my other two are double Pisces. So I'm Virgo Pisces Pisces. <laughs> um, which is apparently like... Most people that I've talked to don't get double hit in any of them. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that I got like a, a double whammy. Um, not gonna lie, when Jason and I first started talking, uh, like, yeah, I'm such a fucking, like, I'm so self-centered, I just pay attention to the Virgo and Pisces ones, and I'm like, oof. Um, Jason's main sign is also Pisces, so I'll get a little bit for him, too, but when he and I first started talking, uh, there's this website that a friend clued me into that was, like, you put in, like, your signs and then the person signs and see how, like, compatible you are and stuff, and I did it with my ex, and it hit, like, every facet which we were compatible, and also every facet which we weren't compatible with, like, a really alarming degree of accuracy. And then I, like... Because <laughs> you have a goat and a bull, you're stubborn, that's funny. Um, then I did Jason and I, and it was, like, much more positive, and we, like, worked together a lot better. And it, like, goes into detail about all the individual planets, too, uh, which is wild. But yeah. Oh hey, you there. Think you can help a lady out? So yeah, I feel better about this for I the well, I also zombie twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Felt, you know. Yeah, sure. A lot better about my relationship with Jason oh, for many, you, many, sir. many reasons. Thank you. But your ankle looks fine to me, bitch, but whatever. I'll help you out. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Yeah, all right. It's literally the opposite direction of where I was going, but sure. I mean, the horse is very much dead. That part is not to fake. Yeah, that horse 
did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. So she was, was she fool. fucking the always complaining, but does she do fucking the horse? About it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. I but cannot kid, relate, ma'am. He was a fine animal, loyal, smart, brave. She's definitely but at least thought about having sex with the no horse. One. The way she's talking about him. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once? I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Rude. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next yep. thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean. Yeah, probably cleaner than most of the cowboys. Uh... Away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. I always get um. Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> How do I put I this? tell the husband what does he do? I always get sure confused about there, the logistics of people that want to have sex with horses. <clears throat> like there's being a, a size queen, and then there's for the time being having no internal organs birth. left because Maybe they've all been pulped. Like, if I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I've seen like horse shaped soon, dildos on like Bad Dragon and stuff. Like, I know what they look place. like, and they're How so? the owner's a mean enormous. Strange, too. Like, I don't understand. Folk. Yeah, people and shouldn't fuck horses for many reasons, but even if you house, take like a dildo in the shape of a horse, right? Which is, I don't care if you do that, you're not harming an actual animal, that's fine. An old saloon there. But like I don't get how it now, but I went in to have a look. works, and, and you know what? Holes, I'm okay with not knowing. I think I don't want to. I don't want that in my search history. Yeah, no, I would not say fuck the horse. Like you should not fuck horses. Way, it's time I if you have horse-related fetishes, try to you know like definitely do those with another person that is consenting, way. right? But like, or by yourself with like a horse still though. But like, don't don't actually fuck a horse. Oh, we're getting close now. Oh, there's a bounty on me here. Oh, shit. It's here fine. I'll be this in and out. This was kind of you, mister. You're Please welcome. Take this as my way of thanking you. Okay. Oh. Appreciate it. Ugh, what a lousy day. Fair enough. And now I'm going to get out of this area before somebody notices that I am a wanted criminal. Because when I have a place where I want it, I tend to try to stick to more of the, you know, the back trails and whatnot. Sorry, horsey. Let me give you one second. Why? I just tried to say no worries, and my phone corrected it to now president. Who? I don't use the word president nearly often enough for that to be to come up more than the word worries. Yeah, I don't. Sometimes my phone's autocorrect is... I was trying to say, like, both earlier, and it autocorrected to Rehoboth, which is an area in Delaware that I've visited many times. I used to live right by there. But I haven't talked about Rehoboth, Delaware in my text messages for... God, like, two or three years? Because I don't live there anymore. It doesn't really come up a lot when you're not in that area. You know what I mean? So, like, why did it... It was weird. Hello. I mean, mine still can't figure out when I want to say the word fuck, which is really annoying because I also say fuck, like, a lot. Um, but I don't want to change it so that duck always corrects to fuck because sometimes I do want to say the word duck. You know? Like, sometimes that could be relevant to, to something. It's not like a word that I don't use.
I've never heard of Gboard. Is that like an app? Okay. Man, the worst for me is sometimes I'll be going to text my friends and it will autocorrect to something like spicy. Um, and I'll have to like make sure that that's not included in the text message. <laughs> I don't really want to give examples of the kinds of words that I'm thinking of, but like I don't just mean like the word fuck out of nowhere. I mean like something like a saucy name for a partner or something. And I'll leave that up to you what the imagination might be. Oh my god, that's so annoying. I found that if I do the thing where you hold the space bar and like scooch it over, it does a little bit better than like trying to retype the whole word or whatnot. But even so, if I tried to do it five times in a row and it didn't work, I would fucking lose my patience at that point. I know there's gunshots over that way, but I just... There's only so many gunshots I can go chasing after in a single day, you know? I have to be getting close, right? I feel Well, I did kind of double back for a while to help that woman. Which I thought would get me some, like, positive clout, but, uh, but did not. Yeah. You know, interestingly, when I killed this shitty confederate guy, I think my clout went up, not down. I I'm gonna have to double check that later, when I, like, export the stream over to YouTube, but, like... I think that it improved my goodness rating instead of decreased it. Which is very interesting and very much I like that. Yeah. Okay, what's at the center of the question mark? I don't know because I can't I can't go up there. But now I'm fucking curious, you see. Yeah. Wasn't curious about people shooting, but question marks. Ooh, man. Y'all should have seen me in the Batman games going after all the Riddler question marks. It's a problem. I actually did, like, 100%. The, not, like, the combat challenges, but I got all of the Riddle coll Riddler collectibles and shit from all of those games. The first six months of the pandemic hit us all in different ways, you know. I just don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. Sure, buddy. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. What the fuck? I ain't got time for No, this. what? No, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. Oh I'm my sure god, you dude. Heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. Can Arthur I read? Once had high tea with he can read because he has a journal. I helped so he can write. America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. So is this like a real thing I that you do or like. Many or are you like Gilderoy Lockharding this shit? Treasure on the American frontier, beautiful country, reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island Almeria of Cocu in the real, Japanese I don't archipelago, think. in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Yeah. Maybe well, your nose. No good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hole Gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who California is not. Oh, them you have heard of, it's closer me? to Japan than you are now, but California uh, is not Japan. They buried gold somewhere in this area, but okay. were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps Hello, to ensure girl. it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You That's just cool, need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. 
I'm not gonna do that. I'm just fully throwing that out. I'm, I'm not going to do this. Ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Can I barter him down? Well, ten dollars and it's yours. Oh, fine. A very wise investment. I feel like I just brought into a Nigerian prince scheme. This is... Okay, well... Yep. I don't know that I'm gonna be... quite a good enough adventurer to find these treasures, but... I wanted to leave the option open to myself, you know, just in case. Oh, hang on. There you go. Whenever uh, I notice and Nova is trying to scratch herself, um, I'll scratch it for her. Because with my nails, I can usually get it better than she can. And she always seems really pleased at the end. And then she, like, stops scratching it herself. That's a pro tip. You can do that with uh, any dog. They'll usually quite like it. Because it saves them the scratching and then it like bonds them to you more. And now she's just laying there all happy. Alright, what's this then? I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. Oh yeah, that was a thing during this time. They would all pan for gold. Oh my god, can I pan for gold? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Hey, give me some goddamn space here, will you? Sorry, I was just interested in how you worked. Why won't it let me defuse? Like I don't want to antagonize. Let's give it some of the magic touch. <laughs> Come on. Now. Yeah. We gonna kiss? Uh, oh, we're not kissing. Is fighting a crime? I feel like it's a crime if I kill him, right? But... I'm not trying to kill him, I'm just trying to make him stop hitting me. For what, bitch? For trying to see how prospecting worked? Damn. Oh, no, I want my hat. No, no, that picked up the wrong one. And now I'm all muddy. You got me all muddy. Yes, I understand that wasn't the most honorable thing I've ever done in my life. Yep. But I don't know if I can know. I thought it would be fine. Can I, like, run us through water and get us clean? Well, that got her clean, but not me. I think I'm going to camp for the night, just here. Do I have anything I can cook? Oh. 
Oh, well. I can cook some... Venison. Oh, he just sticks it on the knife and then sticks his fucking knife right into the fire. I don't even know where I got this venison. I feel like I've had this venison for like a suspiciously long time. I think it would be kind of funny if they let you co eat the food raw, but then you, like, suffered ill effects from it. That would be kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't need to set up a tent. I'll just sleep under the stars. It's not, like, raining. It's fine. Like an old west Gordon Ramsay. No, Gordon Ramsay would be like so upset about the lack of, uh, you know, food care and this food is older than my mother and shit like that, I feel like. Hey there, girl. This hey. gecko is so raw, it just asked me for car insurance. Uh, deals. Yeah, shit like that. Hello, girl. Yeah. Bro, we're gonna get you going with a nice apple. There, we're gonna get Arthur going, um, with a carbine repeater. No, um, with a bread roll. I'm trying to feed them both at least once a day and hope that that's good. I don't know if it matters what I feed them. I just don't want them to be underweight because that's not good. I don't think I'm in danger of making them overweight. Let's put it that way. I don't think I'm that generous with my supplies. A little bit like how fucking close am I getting? Am I close? Oh, thank god. Okay, good, because, like, this is a long journey. For fucking Micah. Ugh. And in a game with, like, limited fast travel, too. God. What does my world come to? Yeah. Why are we slowing? Oh, shit. Is everyone okay? Yeah. I'd love to give you a hand. I will lift the trunk. It's terrifying. There. Did that make up for accidentally killing the prospector? Maybe. All right. We've done all we can for you. All right. I'm gonna go now. Wow. I can't pay you full for today, of course. You're welcome. Fucking people, God. Like, his legs have to be broken, right? Like, he probably can't work again physical labor for, like, a minute. I don't think they offer workers comp in the Wild West, although I feel like they should. Yeah, 
I know, girl. We're trying to find this asshole's camp. Okay, so we can't go up that way. It's a little bit too steep. Go around this way. Go over here, maybe? Oh, that's it. Okay. You're right, girl. That is a little bit of a jump for you. Let me let me make that a little bit better. There, I think you can handle that much of an incline. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? God, I gotta take off that badge. Said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you what was the a fuck does boy. that mean? Is he implying <laughs> he has a small penis? Gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow. Sure seems that way. So I guess yellow. you'll be riding with me to rob the banking coach. Comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. You think I can steal from your camp first? Nope. <sighs> what are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Being a crazy I hermit. I stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dodge without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said. Oh, I'm actually gonna take off the little uh waypoint thing on the map. So that, that stop showing up. I kinda wish it would go away by itself, but whatever. How many men? Guns. Riders. Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I don't trust Our this man. Bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner the better. We also did you literally just much. rob a bank. So. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscoll. Or like he wanted you to get caught and was trying to make it. Close to Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink I like there. the soundtrack for this what mission, though. Loose ends. Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me. <gasps> We're a little bunny going on the bridge with us. We don't realize till it's too late. That was like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser. No, I'm good being a tight roller. Full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Yes, we're mm, That's a real dick asshole thing to say, man. Like instead of apologizing, just deflecting and being like, "Oh, what's done is done." Mm -mm. Marinara flags all, all right. up in this, this place. Hold up on this ridge. Hold. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here. Any minute. Look, there they are. I was 
was gonna say, this couldn't just be one of the ones where they don't show, right? That's not how this works. Oh. Hang on. Okay, we already put the bandana on. Good, good. Not subtle, is he? Not a very good shot on horseback. It's also kind of hard to keep the horse running while shooting. I feel like these fuckers should be nervous because if I'm getting robbed and I hear the people openly using their real names with each other, I'm like, oh, they're planning on killing me. No other reason they'd do that. Okay, there's another one. I'm trying desperately to get her to catch up. Oh no, what do you mean I hit my gun instead? What a terrible, terrible shame that would be. What happened? Too far back. The stagecoach crashed off a cliff. Well, if I had a dollar for every time that happened to me, I'd have a dollar. But, you know, a, do a dollar saved is a dollar that I could have spent at Starbucks. Um... So what, do we need to stop it quicker? God, I'm just shooting fucking wild right now. This is not a good strategy for me. I need to get closer. only be two of us, but, uh, size isn't everything. Oh, that's Micah. Oh, so I think there's one behind us, actually. Micah, can you get the one behind us? Okay, we got the driver. And there's one one more somewhere? Oh, yeah, I found him. God, thank you, Arthur. Wait for Micah now. No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. Do not call me that. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah. Hey, luck. Come on. Maybe I want to keep my face covered because I'm afraid of you. Hey, slut, come on. Mm. Here, find new rifle too. Am I driving or is he? Go, from me to you, that's more your style than mine. He's driving. I took the bandana off. Oh, there I didn't do it right. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. What a weird you don't wanna just break simile. It here, be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take, a new wagon to move. I do like that the horses just follow us and that they, like, no more, animated that in, you know? Sure. Yeah, That's nice. Get across the river. 
Oh my god. Micah, you fucking idiot. What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! You okay? I think so. Just keep your head down. How fucking many of these assholes are there? Why do I feel like there's a lot of them? I was wondering why they looked like featureless blobs. It's because they're wearing masks that cover their faces. That, that actually makes sense. I was like, is my animation not loading? Or are these all like amorphous humanoid figures with no faces? There he is. Oh, Jesus. Kill them tw I don't think that's how that works, buddy. The away. <laughs> We're happy with that outcome. That'll show them. Why is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? You know, I was just wondering the same fucking thing, man. Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. That coach is empty. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. There's too many of them to loot them all. I'm stubborn, but I'm not quite that fucking stubborn. But I'll get a couple where I can. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. Come on. I'm happy to do it myself. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. It's probably empty, isn't it? I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Fucking like better, said, Micah. Big shadow, tiny tree. And like I what said, does that, that still don't mean nothing. Get out of here. You'll see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Three hundred dollars isn't bad. Looks okay, like they man. are looking for me, though, which is obviously not ideal. Um, oh, my God, where do I not have a bounty? Why do I have a bounty in Rhodes? Right, I'm gonna just go back to camp and then we'll probably call it a, a day on the story, or on the gameplay here, cause... I mean, I get it, I just killed a bunch of O'Driscolls. Like, that part I, I do get. I do get that. wanted because they ran away right right love that yeah. 
There is some kind of fast travel option at towns via stagecoaches, but um, I'm currently wanted in every town. Uh, I know I can go to a post office and pay off my debts, but I might do that with some of the one. I'm probably gonna do that with the one in Rhodes, so that because that's our like current town of choice and it's only ten dollars, like I'll just pay it off. It's fine. I just got a three hundred dollar cut. I can. I do wish there was like a Horizon style system where you could like fast travel at campfires or something. Like you could have a fast travel system and make it fit this setting and not like a stagecoach one either where you have to like go to, into a town. I think you have to pay for it as well. Like I don't think it's free. Um, even just a fast travel back to camp and nowhere else option. I would love that. Some quests will do that. Some quests will, like, cutscene you, and then you'll end up back at camp, you know? Uh, but this one obviously didn't, so I'm... making my way back to camp. I mean, it's very pretty scenery, and, like, the bird song is, is very nice, you know, like, I, I totally get them wanting to encourage people to explore this world on horseback so that you can find those random road events and, you know, just get to see the world and not just bop around, because you do miss some of that when you fast travel, like, if there's a game with too much fast traveling, I, I can get lazy and rely on it, and then I'll just use that to get around, and then there are, like, things I might miss, you know, um, but I think you can have a good balance. Like, even if there was just a fast travel back to camp option, that would be cool. Yeah. I feel like I'm supposed to be killing more animals to get, like, meat to donate to camp and stuff, but I just, like, ugh. Why is her stamina flashing like that? Girl, what is wrong with you? Give her some fucking sage to chew on. I don't I don't know that that's gonna do it, but whatever. I think I'm back in the right county now at least. So that's good. I think I've gotta be getting kinda close, maybe. Yeah, we're most of the way there. Okay, well that's good. And like I said, I think when I get to camp, that's probably where I will yeah. call it, because I have learned from this stream that you don't want to end a mission in the middle, or you may, or from this game, uh, that if you end a mission in the middle, you may well have to redo a shit ton of it. So. Actually, I'm now wondering if... Uh, no, I'll just pay off my bounty next time. A part of me was like, should I go to the town and pay it off now? But 
I'll go back to camp first. See, what I don't get is, we just did, like, a big job with a big take, but the camp funds are, like, $30. Hey, Arthur. Hey, buddy. Right, that's the Domino's sign. So, I'm back. So, I see. Had fun with you, cowpoke. You're dumb, but you can fight a little. Thanks, Mike. That means, uh, that means... I'm gonna take out this stupid fucking badge. Oh, listen, Arthur. I know I talk a lot of crap. As soon as Mike is done You're ranting at me. Right. You and me, we will do big things together. No. I'd rather do small to medium-sized things by myself. This is the code I want. Okay, so is it under... That's a crafted coat. Masks, bandanas, neckwear, gloves, weapon equipment, satchels, talismans. Okay, great. But... That's a vandalier, which I don't have because I don't like how it looks. I'm trying to just take off the stupid fucking... Like, even if I change the whole fucking outfit, it doesn't get rid of it. If I take off my coat, it doesn't get rid of it. Is it on the shirts? Nope. Is it tied in with the suspenders? No. I might have to Google how the fuck to get rid of this stupid... You know, dumbass fucking... Because I don't think it would be under neckwear. Yeah, that doesn't make any... Ooh, I have a neckerchief? Ooh. I kind of like that. Yeah, I like the black leather gloves. That's sexy. Yeah, I don't... Oh! Well, that's interesting. I like overpants better. I can't modify my shirt. But that's, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Alright, well, I'll Google it and figure it out. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to go a little bit early for the day, but not that early. And uh, I may or may not be back on Friday, depending on Nova's vet appointment. But if I'm not here, I will cancel the stream on the schedule. Uh, she's fine. She's just having something looked into, but she should be fine. Uh, the usual spiel. Uh, I stream here. It's on YouTube. It's the same name. There you go. Uh, thank you so much, and have a great rest of your day. Bye!